And bam, I'm live. Hello. Hello. I just woke up. Figured I'd play until I have the discount hell stream later today. Huh. Now forgive me, I'm sipping coffee. I believe we left off in season two. But where? I am at it early. I wasn't, uh... I, w I was bored. I wanted to play more of this. In harm's way. Okay. Very loud for some reason, at least to me. Turn this down on my end. Previously on The Walking Dead. Who do you think did this? Think about it. You're Carver, what do you do? What's the most important thing in this world? Clem, it's family. People like Matthew aren't coming back. Rebecca, our baby deserves to be raised in a place of safety. Ah! Go to hell, you fuck. We're going home. As a family. <laughs> Tuh. Aren't you funny? Moth. Touch it. Touch moth. You got done over there? Yeah, one second. Thanks for coming with me. It's scary out here. I know they made you. It's still nice that you came. We're friends. Friends look I out for one cameo. another. <laughs> we are, aren't we? Well, if you need to pee, let me know. I'll keep look out for you, too. Uh, okay. Everything come out all right, girls? Troy, get them tied up. Will do. Well, we're on our way. Probably 30 minutes out. Make sure everyone's prepped. Emotions might be running high. Carve her out. If I find out you've been wasting fuel to keep that fucking heater going, I'll make you walk back. Nope. Froze my ass off. Just like you told me to. It ain't polite to listen to other folks' conversations. Has anyone ever taught you that? Where's your manners? I'm sorry. It's okay, honey. We'll chalk it up as a lesson learned, all right? Get the girls in back with the rest of them. We got a bit of a drive ahead of us. Yeah, exactly. It's like, I'm just standing here, man. I think the thing he was referencing was actually staring, yeah. though. But he was, she wasn't okay? staring at him. She was staring at the, he uh, hey, did he hurt you? radio. Hey! Hey! I swear this game resets my audio settings every time I load it up. Quash hazard.
All right, we gotta do something. Come on. Anyone got anything sharp? Anything? We need to get these bindings off. Hey, Clem, help me find something to get these off. Anything sharp that could cut these. And what good is that gonna do? The hell is wrong with you people? We gotta get out of here. The truck's empty. First off, we're in it, so it ain't exactly empty. If you don't want to help, then just say so, okay? I'll do it myself. What the hell? The truck's empty. We're in a fucking precarious position here. We gotta do something about Settle that. Settle down, Kenny. They took everything. We have to keep a level head. He's right. You don't Every know day. Bill like we do. Bill? This whole time it's Carver, Carver, Carver. Now he's fucking Bill? Oh, I see what it is. Y'all are just getting a ride home, aren't you? That's what's going on here. Say that again. I'd stay out of this, boy. Mister, I ain't a boy. No, right. You're a man. You don't understand. He's different. It's worse. The fuck are you talking about? He wants to punish us. Is he... is he gonna kill us? I don't think so. He ain't gonna get the fucking chance. You have no idea what you're dealing with. Oh, he gave me a pretty good goddamn idea back at the lodge. And I don't intend to sit around here and let that happen to the rest of us. I'm trying to help! I'm sure Walter really appreciated your help. That's not fair. You're blaming him for the actions of a madman. I am pointing out that regardless of intent, there are consequences to rash actions. Something that he seems to be misreading as capitulation. I don't know what the fuck you're saying, but I know it's bullshit. We have to do something. Kenny, you can't reason with him. Oh shit. Jackpot. Sit down. You're going to get us all killed. Y'all don't know what you're talking about. We get cooped up in some kennel like a bunch of fucking dogs. It's over. You don't know that. Yeah? Well, I've been in this situation before. You ever been a prisoner? We've all been prisoners. Why do you think we left? Kenny's right. We have to do something. We can't just sit here. How is it the kid is the only one that sees what's going on here? Clem, the adults are talking. Is that what this is? All right. Now we're talking. Carver will be on the other side of that door with ten people. <laughs> There, there, baby. It's okay. Everything's gonna be fine. At this point, maybe Luke is the only hope we have. If he was gonna do something, he'd have done it by now. Who knows what he's dealing with? Anything can happen out there. I'll tell you what happened. He abandoned us. You don't know that. I know he ain't here. He may not be around, but he wouldn't just leave us behind. That guy's a flake. I could tell the second I set eyes on him. We'll have to wait and see. It's all we can do. She's right. There's no way to know what's happened to him. I told you already, he's gone. We're close. Okay, let's do this. They have guns. What exactly do you expect to do? I'm gonna punch the first son of a bitch I see. Then I'm gonna take his gun and use it to shoot the next son of a bitch I see. Just sit down. Shut up, Doc. This ain't your call. Hey, just, if something happens, just help out, okay? Don't, you know, get yourself hurt or nothing, but any help would be good. Hey, Clem, look at me. You trust me, right? Kenny, please, just, just listen to them. Yeah, okay, I trust you. I'll, I'll do what I can. All right, it's okay to be a little scared, but we gotta You gotta remember, this. Kenny has All survived right. the worst Kenny, are you okay? So, is always okay? trusting him is always a good so. idea. But oh, his happy ass is now unconscious. It's probably for the best. <laughs> I love it. He is the one who survived, like, the situation with Ben, for example. Goddamn brakes ain't working for shit. Alright, up and at him. The fuck? How'd you get your restraints off? Come here. We've got some familiar faces back with us tonight. Now, I understand some of you are confused as to why we bring these people back. But I told you that wasn't his wife. I think I've got an idea. Now, it might not come all at once, but time will heal these wounds. So be patient with them until it does. You take solace in knowing that they're here to help us make our home better place. All these feelings you have of anger, betrayal, hate, they're all valid. No one needs to forget what they did, but we do have to find it in our hearts to forgive them. 
Look how much food they have. Oh, I hope you ain't saying what I think you're saying. If you pay attention, you'll see a lot of the, uh... There's a lot of, uh, the 400 base characters just walking around in the background. We're all exhausted. Just come the fuck on. 90% of the ones that you'll see from 400 Days are just background characters, and they do nothing. He looks after me. He'll be back. When? I don't know, but he will come Yeah, Wolf Among Us is good. Thanks, Clem. And with the added manpower joining us this evening, I have no doubt that we will continue Make sure y'all stay off the fence. Bill can it's save no you from messing with it. Just to survive. It's our obligation to make this community a beacon of hope. Thanks, Barney. Yep. To provide a light, a bright light, bright enough to shine in all this darkness. So that is what we'll do. Y'all best get some rest. Cause there ain't gonna be much for you tomorrow. You're gonna be working hard. That's for you. Yeah, it would be. Fucking Bill. Keeps me out in the cold. But at least I'll be comfortable. Hey, guys. Reggie! <gasps> I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. What did they do to you? This could have been worse, trust me. I'm lucky to be alive. It's my fault. No, it's really not. I would tell you if it was. This happened well after you guys left. I guess I should Reggie say helped us be you, but when we ran away. So I know. I feel the same way. Do you trust him? I don't know. He's nice, if that's what you mean. It's not. Oh, then I, I don't know. That'd be pretty baller to see. Then I'd get to do the uh, Wolf Among Us Lurker series. Snuck up on me while I was hammering something. Luckily, they took the arm off quick. Saved my life. That's awful. I'm so sorry. Look, it was my choice to help you guys. Alvin, Carver wants you in his office. What? Why? Don't make this difficult. It's too late for that. No, please. It's okay, Beck. Just get some rest. If he wanted to do something to me, he'd have done it already. I'll be fine. Let's see what he wants. Hey, Reggie. Oh, hey, Troy. Don't go fucking up now. Bill's real close to letting you out of here. You make sure things stay nice and quiet out here tonight, and I'll be sure to let Bill know just how helpful you were. Yeah, you can count on me. Thanks, Troy. I'm just making Don't realistic miss. choices. All right, let me introduce you. We were with them when we got caught. Hey, I'm Reggie. That's Sarita. Hello. And that's Kenny. Hey. Uh. Hello. Who are you? This freaks you out. It's okay. Freaks me out too sometimes. My name's Clementine. It's very nice to meet you, Clementine. Hey, where's Carlos? Bill's already got him looking at some folks. Oh, okay. Good. What about Pete? Can you guys save it for the morning? Some of us gotta be up early. Sorry about that. No problem. Sorry about that. Okay, that's Mike. He's kind of a dick when he's tired, but like I said, he saved my life, so I put up with that shit. Bill put him to work outside the wall with me. I'm so sorry. Stop with all the sorry. It was my choice. Besides, he said once you were all caught, he'd let me rejoin the group, so I'm glad you're here. I'm just joking. I know. I mean, he did say that, but I'm not happy about it. She's watching us. Hmm? What's that? The woman over there is watching us. Oh, yeah, right. Okay, so she's fucking weird. They found her sneaking around outside the camp covered in guts and just, like, the grossest shit. It's probably best not to stare. I know how it must look, but it's really not that bad here. Reggie, 
No, I'm serious. Where else are you going to find food like we have? We've got the canned stuff, and now with the greenhouses coming along, we've got fresh food. The building's getting more and more secure all the time, mostly through forced labor, but that's only temporary. <laughs> They've even got the solar panels working. When was the last time you had electricity, huh? Well, we just came from a lodge with a wind turbine. It's not a competition. I'm just saying, it's not as bad as you think. <laughs> We're building something great here, guys. A real community. Bill is making it happen. Look, I've made mistakes, and he's forgiven me. That doesn't make up for what he's done, Reggie. Carver killed my friend Walter. Okay, I, I don't know what happened. But maybe he had his reasons. His reason is he's a crazy piece of shit. Listen, I'm really close to getting let back into the group. Once that happens, I can do a lot more to help you guys be more comfortable. Comfortable? What do you think this is? I just don't want you to mess things up for me. I've worked really hard to get to this point. Will you please just try not to cause any trouble? At least until they release me. Then, once I'm out, I could help you more. Maybe even help get you out. We can at least talk about it more in the morning. Just have a quiet night and chat again tomorrow. I can't believe what I'm hearing. Look, the fact is, Bill had every reason to kill me when I helped you guys, but he didn't. Obviously, I don't know what happened while you were all gone, but he's given me a second chance, and I know he'd do the same for you. Reggie, I don't want a second chance. Carver is basically Negan. Family. That's it. Your family is safer here. I need to sit down. Yeah, come on. Sarah, can you go see if there's something for her to drink? Okay. Yeah, there's water over by the benches. Ah, oh, that didn't go as planned. Should have actually made a plan. Man, fuck that guy. I don't think we can trust him. I mean, clearly he's already drank too much of the Kool-Aid. I don't trust him either. He acts... strange. Yeah. I guess getting part of your body chopped off can do that to a fella. You gotta take a look around. We gotta know if there's anything we can exploit to get out of here. We're in a tight spot. Gonna have to wriggle our way out. Sure, I'll have a look around. That Troy asshole's gone for now. This is our chance. Don't worry about Reggie. I'll go help run interference on him. Walker just snuck up on you, huh? Yep. I was, uh, just Berries! Just wasn't thinking. There's all kinds of noise, hammering and stuff. I saw its shadow. It moved in front of one of our work lamps down here and knocked it over. Couldn't even see for a second. That's when it got me. Hmm. Looks rickety. I can't either, honestly. But Mike killed the walker, then took off the arm really quick. Hey, Clown. Quick, like Nick? Done it before. Just thinking about Luke. So just... There's no way he's gone. That he left. How about it? Because me, I've known him for damn near 20 years now, and I can't buy it. I think you're right. He'd never leave you guys behind. Us guys, you mean? Yeah, us guys. <sighs> Guess I'll try and get some sleep. You should too. They're gonna ride our asses tomorrow for sure. Oh, back okay. there. I see it. Yeah, like Night. I said, it felt like Mike had done it before. Get a tourniquet on me real quick. Right there. Oh. So, how'd you end up with a name like Reggie? Kenny! What? I'm just asking. No, it's okay. It's not my real name. On my first day in the U.S., I stopped and got a coffee, and the girl behind the counter asked me my name, so I told her it's Rajiv. Then I just stood there while a guy yelled Reggie mm. for five minutes. And that's when I thought... Really hey, Clem, come on. Don't be like that. She ain't doing nothing wrong, Reggie. Just relax. How can I relax when she's walking around touching everything? I need to touch all the things. Probably to run better. Looks kind of crappy. Ha. Huh. 
I wonder, let me let me take a quick little walk around again. I need to touch more things. Reminds me of the jewelry store. Damn it, Clem. <clears throat> Clementine, please. I asked really nicely. I don't want hey, to. What the hell is she doing? No, uh, nothing. <laughs> you know, kids. They love not listening. You had one job, Reggie. This is real disappointing. Gonna have to tell Bill about this. Please, come on. Hey, don't be like that, man. You shut your fucking mouth. I don't know you. Dad! Oh, you all fucked up now. Bill's gonna hear about this shit. Troy, please. Fuck you, Reggie. This is setting you back a few. Get comfortable, asshole. He was trying to help. She's just a kid. No one's talking to you, Indian lady. Hey! It's fine. I am Indian. Everybody get to bed. Reggie, now die. Oh well. Some of these folks ain't too keen on leaving. It's up to us to figure out a way out of here. You up for it? It's your decision. I'm ready. Of course I am. Good, good. Confidence is good. You gotta have the right attitude. Now get some sleep. We'll need it. I don't like Reggie, so if I get him killed, oopsie daisies. Don't kick me. It's rude. Get up. Bill's gonna have a word. There's been increased walker activity along the fence, so be mindful when outside the walls. The herds moved a little closer as of this morning, but that still doesn't necessarily mean we'll be hit. No, we're monitoring the situation. Now... There are some folks might be sore about what happened, and how things went. Well, that's all in the past now. Some of you are new to our community. Some of you are members who went astray. But know that you can find redemption here. Forgiveness. By proving your worth through what will undoubtedly be hard work. Now, Reggie slipped up last night, but that doesn't mean he should lose hope. Today will be a test for him. So let's all wish him the best of luck. How'd you sleep? I'll let Reggie be an example to I'm you all. So tired. Salvation is available, but it I didn't must even be earned. That. Kenneth Fine. will be taking over Reggie's oh, duties outside the walls. Michael will continue on I showing just his it was value. Nice to finally... Carlos! Yes? Your child seems to be in need of correction. I'm sorry. I... Sarah, apologize to Mr. Carver. So, I'm sorry, sir. No, no. That ain't gonna cut it. I can't have this kind of behavior on day one of your reform. You discipline her now, Carlos. How do you propose that one I... One good smack across the mouth should do it. It'll make her think twice before opening it up again. Go on, we'll wait. My... I'm not sure with my hand that I could... Well, that's why you got two hands, Carlos. Come on! Not some mamby pammy thing, all right? A good hard smack. Otherwise, Troy here will do it for you. I don't think you want that. He can be overzealous. Is that the word? If it means I'll slap the shit out of her, then yeah. Go on, Carlos. It's my fault. Hey, no one's fucking talking to you. Unless you want one of what she's about to get, I'd pipe down, Missy. I'm sorry, Dad. I'm Close sorry. Close your eyes, honey. It's only going to sting for a second.
do it. I'm sorry, Sarah. Stop! You're not cuddling that girl anymore. Let her sit there and think about what she's done. Troy, get Carlos to his post. Everyone else should have their assignments. It's time to get to work. God damn. You really knocked the shit out of her, Doc. Everyone get to work. You're working in the armory. Follow me. Soil, coming up! God damn this thing! Oh, shit. Clementine! Who is this? She's one of the new people. She was with Carlos and Sarah. Uh, and... Sarah? I wish she'd stayed gone. She's had a hard time, Becca. So have we. We're not sitting on the ground like babies. Background characters Go on number inside. one and two. Bonnie's waiting. Hey, I guess you're starting your day with me. We're loading magazines. Well, that's it. You got it. I suppose I owe you an apology. I wasn't truthful when I came across y'all at the lodge, and I was shown a kindness I never would have expected from a group of strangers. But now folks are dead, and I can't help but feel I'm to blame. But the plan was for no one to get hurt. I truly believe that was the intent. Carver's the one who pulled the trigger. He's to blame. Well, actually, yeah, it was Kenny. I surely didn't help matters. I thought if I was the one that found everyone, I could control it. Keep everyone safe. But that ain't how it went. I apologize. Which don't account for much, but it's all I can offer right now. How was your first night in the yard? I know it ain't so comfortable, but it's safe. Which is more than I can say about a lot of places out there. I was hungry. They didn't feed you? Bill said you'd eat every night. I haven't eaten since yesterday. I... I don't have anything. I'm sorry. I was supposed to go. When Luke and Carlos and all them left, I was planning on leaving too. When Luke approached me about it, I, I thought he was crazy. Why didn't you? Leave, I mean. If I'm being honest, I guess I chickened out. I justified not going by telling myself it's easier to try and change something that's broken than start all over. Take the situation with the herd? That's the type of thing that rips a community apart. He keeps things in line. He's got a lot of this stuff figured out. I don't know. I guess I just wanted to be somewhere comfortable for a while. Nobody's safe here with Carver around. You're safe if you stay on his good side. I would if I knew where it was. I mean, it ain't easy keeping a group this big fed and protected. I don't envy that position. Figured that'd make anyone a little stressed. I'm not defending what he did. That was... He killed Walter. Only to protect his own people. Kenny could have killed us all. But he didn't. Bill overreacted. He was in the heat of the moment, and he overreacted. Luke had ideas about how things should go, but they didn't line up with what Bill was thinking. They butted heads. Then Rebecca started showing, and that only made things worse. Maybe Luke was right about him. I wish he was around, but I just hope he's safe. Hey, Bonnie, is that girl down there? I need to come get her. Yeah, she's here. Okay, I'll be right over. I didn't get the new jacket. I'm sure it's fine. Oh, almost forgot. I grabbed this for you. Oh, you're gonna give me the new jacket? I thought I had to reference being cold. Huh? What do you think? <laughs> I found it at the lodge y'all were at. Think it might be for scan. Had to wait for no one to be around to get it to you. It's cool. I like it. Well, I'm glad. 
I thought it was cute, but I didn't know what you'd think. You better watch yourself. I think some folks might be jealous of that cool jacket of yours. Oh, there you are. What's with the ugly jacket? Tavia! What? Never mind. I'll see you later, Clementine. Come on. She's just a hater. Follow me. Come on. Blue Stay in breeze. here for a minute. I'm gonna radio down and find out what you're doing. Don't touch anything. I wanna touch everything. Hey. You want a hug? Okay, <laughs> well, I owe you one for later then. You might not know what's coming though, but... I could just sneak up on you when you're not expecting it. My dad's never hit me before. <laughs> Even when I was really bad. <laughs> he never hit me. He didn't want to do it, Sarah. Carver made him. He's the bad guy, not your dad. Made so, in a weird way, Carver's the one that hit you, not your dad. I guess so. Carver hit me super hard. Cause it still hurts like crazy. Yeah, <laughs> it looked like it. Well, thanks for trying to help. I don't know why people have to be so mean. Like, even when I'm really mad, I still don't want to hurt anyone. Don't mess this up. Yeah, I get it. Reggie's in charge here, okay? Listen to him carefully. Yep, no problem, Tavia. Okay, we gotta do a good job, guys. The camp is counting on us. Come on, I'll show you what to do. It's super easy. Oh, and just so you know, Bill yelled at me this morning for what you were doing last night. I'm not mad, but please, please just listen to me today. I'm on, like, the thinnest ice with that guy. Pick up a pair of those shears. Okay, so we're picking these berries, right? Just pick them, put them in the basket. Simple. While you're at it, if you see any dead branches, take those shears and cut them off and stack them neatly for composting. Got it? Hey, so... Is she gonna be okay? Because what happened down there? That was straight fucked up. I don't want her freaking out and getting me in trouble. I talked to her. I think she's okay. Good, good. Because I'm awful at that stuff. Look, Bill's had it out for me ever since I helped those guys escape, so I gotta concentrate on my work. I mean, to be fair, being in charge is a lot of stress. Especially that when you have awkward. to do so. I won't or to be again. in charge with a lot of people. I'm gonna go work now. Um... And there is a domino effect, of course, but I don't... Like, you have to think, Carver's probably worse than Negan, but Negan was really bad to start. Half done. Are those live branches? Clementine, I asked you to help her. Just checking in. See how the new girls are working out. I forgot to help Sarah. Oops. Reggie. Yeah, Bill. Hey. What the fuck happened in here? Look, Bill, they're new, and me with my arm, it's just not the easy. I just have I have one arm. Shut up, so shut up. Shut the fuck up. You better have an explanation for this. And I mean now. Bill, please, just... Sounds just... like you were about to give me an excuse when I asked for an explanation. 
It was my fault. Nah, no, this ain't your fault. We talked about this, Reggie. Didn't we? But you just don't get it, do you? Get what? I... I... Why don't you girls wait outside? Reggie and I have a few things to talk about. But if I wouldn't have helped, if I would have helped Sarah, I wouldn't have gotten my work done. I wouldn't have gotten my work done. So, uh... What's wrong, Sarah? Are you okay? I no, gave no, you no, plenty no. of chances. Please, Bill. No, 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 please. Ah! Weakness, incompetence. It puts us all at risk, and it won't be tolerated. You think about that the next time you're asked to do something. Get downstairs. Bonnie's got some stuff for you to do. Go! Oh, hey. So, they want you to run some supplies out to the guys working at the expansion? Real simple, just take this over to them. That jacket looks real nice. I don't know what Tavia's talking about. What's wrong? Clem? You all right? Reggie. Reggie's dead. What? What are you talking about? Carver killed him. He pushed him off the roof. Maybe... Maybe it was just an accident. Listen to me. Take this stuff out to those guys and come straight back. Just be safe, okay? Now ain't the time to be calling attention to yourself. I need to go find out what happened. Wee -wee 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 -wee. Hey, Troy! Clem's just gonna take them boys some nails. All right. Go on. Super dead. Hey! That ain't your concern. Get that stuff over to them boys. Just follow them cables. Zombie. Many zombie. I ain't nobody's laborer. Fuck that. Let them do this shit themselves if it's so goddamn important. Get your fucking hands off you me, You ain't man. gonna force me to do this bullshit. I said get your hands off me. Or what? You gonna go tell on me? I'm trying to help you, asshole. Yeah, this is a real help. Why don't you just worry about yourself? Reggie's dead. Carver killed him. What? You sure? Well, did you... <laughs> shit! Fucking grab something! Ain't scared no zombie. A bonka. Oh, long, long shell. Uh-oh. A spiky barricade? That'll do it. Sledgehammer! Haha! <laughs> Oh, 
struggle. Oh, I'm losing it. Oh, I'm losing it. What the fuck? Get up. Get out of there. Come on. Make me save your ass. Jesus. Oh, thank God, you're okay. All right, enough mushy shit. You get back inside right fucking now. I'm sure they got shit for you to do in there. Now! Think I'm fucking around? Now I gotta sit down here and babysit you assholes. Can't do a simple fucking patch job without me here cracking the whip? Science dog. me Luke yes man bit the hell out of me think you drew blood come all this way this is this is the welcome I get hey hey what was that for you scared me well I'm sorry about that and it's about time you got here you have any idea how hard this was all right listen we ain't got much time okay I followed y'all here best I could I haven't had a night's rest since y'all got nabbed and well, that's the first chance I got to talk to somebody. <laughs> They're everywhere, okay? They got guards watching everything. Shh, shh. There's a herd of lurkers just south of us. It's bigger than I ever seen around these parts. Carver mentioned that. Said he hopes it passes us. Yeah, I heard folks talking about that, but it ain't so. Okay, it's gonna hit this place. I know it is. Now, I don't know when, but it's coming, and it's gonna be soon. See, I've been looking for places to, to get you all free, but I haven't been able to find anything yet. Are you feeling okay? No. No, I mean, uh, yeah, yes. Sorry. I, I just could use some sleep, you know? Hard to rest when you think a lurker's about to get the jump on you at any, any moment. But yeah. <laughs> yeah, I'm fine. Okay, don't worry about me. It seems dangerous. Well, the whole situation's dangerous, but, well, we're in it now. That's what we got. We just, we just need a plan. Ain't no blood on it. You and, and everyone. Luke. Oh, sorry, sorry. Shit. Okay, Troy ain't gonna like you being late. Listen, Clem. I need you to meet me here tomorrow about this time, because I, I need you to get me one of those radios. Okay? Do you think you can do that? Just, just one of those walkie-talkies. I just need to be able to tell y'all what's going on with them guards. You know, I'll figure out the schedule the patrols are on. I mean, they're they're all over the place, but I can keep an eye on them for y'all from out here. Look, we ain't gonna be able to shoot our way out of here, so we gotta be careful. We just gotta be smart, okay? We, we gotta plan. Where do I get one? I think they keep them in the stock room. I ain't completely sure, though. Just keep your eyes out for the charging station. Now, they put most of them back on there at night. Remember, you meet me here tomorrow. I'll try and be here around this time, but if I ain't, just wait as long as you can, because I really need one of those radios. And just let everybody know I'm all right, okay? I'm worried they, uh... Get out where I can see you. Go on. Get out of here. The hell were you doing? Huh? I was hiding from walkers. Don't go in there, you hear me? That is off fucking limits to you. Bill Radio wants a word with you up in his office. So get on up there, now! Man, shoes 50% off? What? I want that. I want 50% off shoes. I'm not gonna only, I only need to wear one shoe. Hey, there he is. Dude, you better go up and see Bill. He doesn't like to wait. So, you should probably go. So, you should probably go. Background character number three. Rebecca! She's a strong woman, surrounded by weak men. I ain't letting my kid get raised around that. Now get in here. Only like two or three of the people in 400 Days can die. Alvin? 
Falvin! He passed out hours ago. He can't hear nothing. No point in making a racket. Why are you doing this? Me and him, we got history. Understand? A couple things we had to get worked out. I wouldn't be so concerned about his well-being if I were you. Not with you being so close to the fire yourself. Now. You make sure you tell me the truth when you're sitting where you are, and you won't end up over in that chair. Now, you might not believe this after what happened earlier, but I liked Reggie. He was a funny guy. He kept things light. You need folks like that. It's easy to let depression sink in during times like this. But he was weak. And I don't mean just because he was maimed. That wasn't his problem. He was weak of will. And weak of character. And we can't have that around here. Not anymore. Not with what we got at stake. You have to be able to contribute. I understand. I knew you were a smart girl. You see, Reggie put us at risk with his incompetence. He's had a string of screw-ups lately. Killing one in order to save many is part of survival. It's one of the tough decisions that a weaker person couldn't make. It's why it falls to people like us to lead them to safety. You understand? Well, I wish it was different, I do. But they are weak, and we are strong. That's why it's our responsibility to shepherd the flock, to keep them safe. It's their nature to follow, not to lead. I know. I have to do everything for them. It's exhausting. Of course it is. But that's the role you're meant to play. And we're more alike than you think. There's no way you could have lasted this long otherwise. I realized it back in that cabin. You were scared. But you looked me straight in the eye. Kept your nerve. That's what we need. If we're gonna get through this, the next generation has to be stronger than the last to lead us out of this. Kids like you, raised the right way, the way my child will be raised. It ain't this herd that keeps me up at night. We can handle that. It's not knowing if I got anyone to hand all this off to. But I ain't worried about that anymore. I'll help you, whatever you need. I know I'm just a kid, but I'll do my best. Well, that's all I can ask. All right, now. Bill, you there? Yeah, I'm here. The loading bay door is jacked. Troy really knocked the shit out of it. How bad is it? Rails are tweaked so it won't shut all the way. I don't think it's an emergency or anything, but it's something Stan should take a look at when he can. I'll get him on it. Out. That fucking idiot. Heard on its way, and he puts a goddamn ding in my door. Go on back out to the yard. It's almost supper time. Leaders of collectivist authoritarian groups love being the only ones with individuality. I mean... I suppose. Because we all know what happened this morning. I don't know what that son of a bitch is going to do next. So you want to ring the dinner bell for a herd of walkers to show up? How is that better? Because this place will be fucking chaos when that thing hits. No one will be paying any attention to us. And that's when we go. It's our opening. We just got to figure out a way to draw them to us. Your friend here wants to get us killed by lurkers before Bill can do it. What is it with you? That's what it sounds like to me. You know that's not what he's saying, but it does sound dangerous. Sound draws walkers. There was this girl, Molly. She used bells to control where they moved. Yeah, that's right. She had them running all over Crawford. We just need something loud. Well, unless you've got a megaphone tucked in your pocket, it doesn't help us much now. I still vote we get Luke the radio and wait for an opening. Oh, come How'd you on. even know about that? You know about Luke? He flagged us down when Troy wasn't looking. Told us his plan. Mentioned he'd talk to you. If Luke can tell us what's going on with the guards, we can use that to pick a good time to escape. That seems reasonable. Who knows when that'll be? Look, Clem had it right. We just need something loud to get their attention. The PA system Carver is always using is quite loud. There's some speakers outside the building, pointed toward the parking lot. I saw them when we were walking out to the work. Troy's always standing next to one of them. I saw the controls. They're in Carver's office. She's right. 
It's all controlled in Bill's office. There's a switch in there that'll turn them on. How do you know that? I used to make a lot of the announcements back in the day. I had it flipped on once. Luckily, there wasn't much around at the time to hear it. It was plenty loud, though. That's perfect. We just gotta get into his office. Why didn't you say something sooner? Because it doesn't change anything. This isn't a discussion about how to do it. It's a discussion about whether it's stupid. And it's still stupid. The sensible thing is to get Luke the radio and wait for an opening. You're real difficult to deal with sometimes. Kenny. No, that's all right. You ain't exactly a peach either. Why can't we do both? Even if we bring the herd to us, it's probably good for Luke to be able to tell us where they're coming from. You know what? Fine. I can get behind that. Okay, so we get that turd radio, he keeps us posted on the herd's movement. We fire up the PA thing and bring the walkers to roll over this place. And then what? Get some guns and shoot our way out. I don't know. Whatever we can. We improvise. Then that's not a plan. You don't plan to improvise. I figured out what your problem is. You don't think this stuff through. If the end of the plan is just to stroll through a herd of walkers, then you should know from the jump there's no way it's ever going to work. Actually... I do it all the time. First words I ever hear you say, and it's just some crazy, stupid shit. Hush. What do you mean, exactly? When you cover yourself in their smell, rub the walker guts all over you. They can't tell you from one of them. Now I don't know who's crazier. Trust me. I've walked through herds before. It works. You just have to keep calm and make sure you're good and covered. Lee figured that out. What? It's how we got out of the Marsh House. Lee covered me, and we walked right through. Really? Holy shit. Oh, good one, Lee. All right, what are we waiting for? Let's get that stupid radio. We still have to find a way to get in the stock room. I got a plan for that, too. Come on, kid. Gonna need your help. Where the hell did she come from? We just need to use the winch. She can just climb up from there. Then, just drop into one of the skylights over the stock room. There are shelves and stuff for you to land on, so you probably won't fall to your death. Great. That thing breaks all the time. Unless something's changed, it won't support much weight. Come on, up and at him. Don't push her, Kenny. She's our best bet. I mean that, Clem. Now or never, I guess. Ask my girl. We gotta get that rope down. Mike, you wanna boost her up? Come on, kid. Don't let go. I got you. Sharpest guards in the world, but they're no idiots either. The fact that the ladders are tells me this is gonna bunk. break. We're all done. Shit, he's coming back. I gotta let you go. I can't stand here. Grab something. Ooh. A lot of walkers. We're in trouble. You're not going to believe what I'm looking at. There's got to be two or three thousand of them out there. In the parking lot? No, not in the parking lot. I can't see them all, but I see the dust they're kicking up. So you're not sure? What, about how many there are? Yeah. How can I be? Fuck. I hope they pass by us. Sprint! God, yeah. You think we're ready this time? I don't know. Bill thinks we are. Of course he does. We put the same thing last time. <laughs> we learned a lot since last time. Is it enough, though? We'll find out if they turn this way. Yeah. 
Click on. Click up. I see them radios. It's crazy about Reggie, huh? Yeah. You think Bill... Go on. Nah, it's just... I was wondering if you thought Bill maybe... Spit it out, Hank. I don't think Bill was gonna let him back in. Huh. You don't? No. Do you? I don't know. So really, no bullshit. You think we're ready? I think so. The homestead, at least. I'm not sure about the expansion. They're out there, just... moaning. That's what they do. It's driving me crazy. It's really unnerving. I know what you mean. You figure we'd be used to it by now. I wouldn't figure that. Never got used to a light buzzing or anything? A little different when it's dead human beings walking around? I'll give you that one. So what are you doing tomorrow? Bill wants me to start getting this bay door fixed. Is that why you're down there? Yep. What happened to it again? Troy backed into it when we brought the prisoners, the, the new people in. See, it's hard not to call them prisoners. Anyway, I'm looking at it now. I don't think we have what we need. Jesus, really? You can't be smoking back <gasps> here. Vince, come on. Don't give me that. If Bill smells a whiff of smoke back here, he'll flip. What are you thinking? You know what? I'm just gonna tell him. I'm not letting someone else get blamed for this. That's bullshit. Vince! Vince, come on! Vince! Whew. Well, no smoking in the stock room. You get him? Okay, jump down. I got you. We best get in bed. Troy will be back any minute. Well? Got him. Everybody stay where you are. No need draw on suspicion. That was so cool. Thank you, Clem. I told you you probably wouldn't die. Nice job. Why are you sideways? It was nothing. Sure it was. Anyway, get some rest. I thought about Duck today. About his dumb little face. First things that come to mind are always the dumb things he was doing. Kid was always running in circles. Every damn place he went, he'd just run. He couldn't stop him. Makes it harder to remember he was a good boy. Well, long day tomorrow. One long day. Well, he got a high five, so I mean, his life was basically complete. It's the best way to look at it, honestly. All right, we're all here. Someone's got to get the radio out to Luke. What's the problem? We should probably figure out who's doing what before we... Time to get up. Daylight's burning. They let you sleep in, all things considered. Where's my dad? He's where the rest of you are going. To work. Rebecca, Nick, Sarah, Jane. If you gotta take a piss, do it now. The next break won't be for a while. Troy will be coming up for the rest of you. Why just them? Like I said, Troy's coming for the rest of you. The Amazon bathroom break moment? Yeah. Alright, look. If we're gonna do something, we have to do it now. And if Luke's all we got, and we pair up with him. I can do it. Where's the meeting? Mike. Yeah? Clementine should do it. Are you fucking kidding? 
No offense, but come on, that's crazy. She's a kid. Why would- There's a million reasons. She knows Luke. She can hide. She got the damn radio for us in the first place. Who cares? And I'm sorry, Mike, but I don't know you from fucking Adam, all right? And if I'm trusting someone to do something this important, I'm trusting her. Kenny's right. I should do it. Don't do something stupid just to get some respect. She doesn't need your respect. Give me the radio. All right, little chickens. Let's get to pecking. All right. And don't think today's gonna be like yesterday. No way. No shenanigans. This rooster's gonna be surveilling your ass every second of the day, you hear? Got that? I'm afraid I need an answer, girl. Yes, sir. Come on. Oh, you have your pockets all out. Gonna get your tags all snagged on something. Oh, let's go! You have your pockets all out. Hey, she's with me? Oh shit, I almost forgot. Yeah. Well, take her then. I don't care. Wait, wait, what's going on? Never mind. Just chores of a different sort. Come on, city mouse. Can't you cut her a break? She'd really rather keep with us, people she knows. Won't they need my help? Well, today I need it more. Come on. I just wanted to make sure you were all right. I didn't believe you when you told me about Reggie. I ran and found Bill once I left you. Figured even if he had done it, he'd make up some sort of excuse. But Bill was just so matter-of-fact about it. Like he'd pulled up a weed or something. Like it had to be done. And that was just one of those moments when your blood runs cold. Goose pimples up and down your arm. As it turns out, the person you thought you knew was never there. You look anxious, Clementine. Something the matter? You know you can talk to me, right? I was dishonest when I first met you, but I swear on everything holy that'll never happen again. Bonnie, Luke's waiting for me to give this to him. He needs it. Clementine! And all I need from you is to just not care where I am for 15 minutes. If you get caught and you mention my name, Carver will be the least of your troubles, okay? Well, what are you waiting for? You killed me, Bonnie. You bitch. Y'all better hurry that shit up. I hate babysitting you assholes. Luke? Bellboy. Ratman. Luke? It's me, Clementine. It's safe to come out. Why would you leave the door open, you fool? Now, if I were Luke, I'd look at comics. Ooh! Oh! Um... Luke... Luke! Where is he? Luke! Well, look Luke, at comics. if you're hiding, come out! Luke! I swear to Christ you're gonna regret this! I was... Damn it. You ain't supposed to be out here. God damn it, Luke. You people been here one fucking day and already you're fucking up. Well, you wait and see what happens. Move! Hey! God damn it, Luke.
Get over there. And how is it that we're repaid for our trust? With treachery? With deceit? With theft? Whatever you were planning is over. It's done. You can't just run from your problems. You can't just up and leave when it gets tough. Because there's nowhere else you can go where it ain't. Tough is all we got now. Get that through your fucking skulls. Oh, Kenny didn't know I was there. Luke here, he can't help you now. You gotta help yourselves. You gotta help me find the strength to forgive you. Now you can start. By telling me where the other one is. I'm gonna count to three. If that radio ain't in my hand by then, we'll have to make things more difficult. One. Two. I found it. It's right here. I got it. It's all right. Sorry about that. Not sure what I was thinking. Three. <laughs> Fucker. No! Oh, God! Jesus Christ! Stop! Stop him! Somebody stop him! Troy, do Let something! Let me go! Stop. Clementine, help you me! You have to do this, Bill! No! Stop it! Kenny! Kenny! Little shit. Bill! That's enough, Bill! Please! Bill, there's a breach! All right, everyone come with me. Bonnie, you stick around. Make sure these folks don't get into any more trouble. Yeah, okay. No supper for y'all tonight. Maybe an empty stomach will give you some perspective. And we'll try this again tomorrow. Do your best with him, Carlos. You need to get him able to move, because we're leaving tonight. We're leaving tonight. What'd she say? She said she can get us out of the pen if we can get the PA system going. Second she hears it, she'll run over and spring us. That's great. It's not great. What are you talking about? Look, I know part of this is my fault. I, I, I know. I was hungry, I got reckless trying to steal some food, and I got caught. We can't stay here. Exactly. We have no idea how long Alvin's got before Bill just kills him. We have to leave now. Look, I hear what you're saying, but it's risky. It is pretty damn risky, guys. Risky? Did you see what that son of a bitch just did? Look, the plan works. Nothing needs to change. It's all set up. The hard part is done. This guy's fucking crazy. Who knows what he'll do next? Yeah, but now we're dealing with a guy beat to shit, Sarita in no shape to do anything, and I'm a goddamn mess. Look, we should rest up, okay? We should bide our time, and we should wait for an opening. Bonnie's agreeing to help us tonight. And that doesn't mean she can't do it some other night. I don't know, guys. Luke's making sense. Maybe we should wait. We're not waiting. Ain't nothing out there, guys. Trust me, I've looked. There's no food. There's no supplies. They picked everything clean. Where's Kenny? Doc's over there working on it. And don't look good. Can I see him? I don't think that's a good idea. His orbital is crushed. I don't think there's much hope for the eye. I got him as stable as I could, cleaned it, got some of the swelling down, bandaged it as best I could. But until he wakes up, 
We won't know if there's any damage to the brain. <laughs> Fuck. Okay, look. Maybe I'm just playing devil's advocate here, but if... Damn it, if y'all are serious about going tonight, then we're gonna have to start talking about maybe leaving some folks behind. No! There is no other way. This is bullshit. Well, I don't like it either, but guess what? It's where we're at. Kenny and I are only here because of you people, and now you intend to leave us behind. So we should risk all of our lives? No, we're not leaving Kenny. That's not fair. We stay together. Life ain't fair, Clem. We're just trying to make the best of a bad situation here. No one wants to leave Kenny. Good. Cause... He won't have to. I'm alright, hon. That is leave tonight. the man. Plan don't change. Not bad, old man. Thanks, asshole. You are one tough bastard. You tough bastards get their ass kicked in front of everybody? You all right? That wasn't your fault, okay? It's all right. All right. Well, then what now? We get the hell out of here. Like now, now? Yes. Where are we going? In case things get squirrely and we gotta make a break for it, we need a place to meet up. We could meet out at Parker's Run. The hell is that? It's a Civil War site a few miles north. Tourist trap. Got signs all over. Just follow the road. We stopped there after we escaped the first time. Luke and Carlos know where it is. It's not that far. Well, at least if a few folks know where it's at, it'll be easier to find if we're split up. All right, that works. Then we just need someone to go set off that PA, right? I mean, you never bother to explain who's supposed to do that. <laughs> wait, wait, hold on. She's the plan? Let's go. <laughs> Everybody just looks sure to remember to flip the switch for the outdoor speakers. Clementine. Just the indoor speakers might not draw the herd. It's right on the microphone box. Right. By default, it's set to play music, so you should just have to turn it on, right? Then climb back up and drop into the stock room. We'll meet you there. Down into the office, outdoor speaker switch, turn on PA, up to the roof, down into the stock room to meet you guys. That right? Perfect. So here's a question. How do you get back up to the skylight from Carver's office? Be careful. Okay. Clem, make sure you bring Alvin. Leave Alvin. Got it. Literal dead weight. You think you think uh Kenny got it bad. Alvin's kind of unconscious in a chair. Maybe. Alvin! Yeah, he's still pretty dead, I think. Hold on. Speaker first. Okay, now the mic. Wrong. Didn't I pick up a CD from earlier? No, 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 no. No, where are they? What is this? Come on, come on. Oh shit, I did. Please work. This 4th of July, make sure your backyard barbecue is complete with Howe's full line of products to meet your grilling needs. Oh no. Alvin! Are... are you okay? Carver talks all the tough guy shit, then keeps the tiniest gun in the universe. <laughs> There's something funny about that. You 
have the project, we have the know-how. How? Come on! We have to go! I ain't going anywhere. But you are. Go on. I mean to get some payback. No! We're leaving. We're all leaving. I ain't fit to move, kid. Uh, I've, I've run out of road. What? No, I'll, I'll just go up there and shut that thing off. You gotta get out of here. They'll be here any second. Thank you. You have a gun with one you bullet. Take care of my girls. I get the feeling it's, it's gonna be a girl. Just a hunch. Go on. <laughs> Gun with one bullet. Yep, the common Alvin L. That's a lot of zombies. You want to disrespect me? Fine. You want to throw away the life I'm trying to build for us all? Then fucking fine. You want to run off with this dog shit group of crippled fucks? Then fine. Be my guest. But I will put a bullet in you and that baby before I let you leave again with my child. <laughs> <clears throat> Come on, Luke. This ain't none of your business. Clem, where... Why isn't Alvin with you? Where is he? Alvin! Rebecca, I am... Don't look away oh, from God, him. I'm so sorry. Kill him. Rebecca, Rebecca, sweetie, my God. How did we get here, you and me? This is just a bit of a custody battle we got on our hands here. Shoot him. Just shoot him. What? No, I just... Go on, and wait outside. Might be for the best. We have to go. Kenny, please. I only need a minute. Go on, you don't need to see this. That girl's already seen more than you can imagine. Shut your mouth, Bill. You're all just gonna let him do this? Yes. There ain't one part of that son of a bitch I don't hate, but that does not make this right. I'm not going anywhere. It's gonna get messy. I know. Look at you, you fucking ingrates. I don't even know how good you got it. That's all right. You'll learn. Lambs to the slaughter. No shepherd to guide you. Clementine knows exactly what I'm talking about. Come on. No. I'm not letting you see this. It's not your decision. Atta girl. She ain't afraid to look it in the eye. You go with that feeling you got right now, Clementine. That's what makes you stronger than Come the rest on. of them. Let's go. Yeah, go on. Let the sheep out of the pen. We'll see how long that lasts. I'll be right there. You won't see anything. That's funny, coming from you. How's that eye? Just follow my voice. It'll get you there. You got a thick fucking skull, Kenneth. Should've put you out of your misery right then. Now look at you. You're a mess. The fuck are you looking at, bitch? Don't act like you didn't love every second. Uh.
how you can't camp for the ray gun. That's funny. Nah, nah, I'm, I'm, I'm alright. Come on, we got enough to worry about. Man, we're never gonna make it through this. You kidding me? If Clem can handle it, you can. Shit. I thought they were coming from the south. They did. Looks like we're in the eye of it now. Fuck. This is fucked. Here. You're gonna need something. Thanks. Time to get some guts. Uh, there we go. You guys better hurry up and get to smearing if you want to live. Or you can die here. It doesn't matter to me. Oh, God. Do it quick. We need oh. to get covered before the rest of them get close or we're fucked. I'll go first. You're gonna put that on yourself? We have to, Sarah. Juicy. Okay, now you. Turn around. Smells gross. Shit. Everybody shut the be fuck okay, up. Honey. Be okay, Just stay still. Uh, are you sure? I'm sure. There's nothing to fear if you remain calm. I'll keep you safe. Hurry the fuck up. Turn around. I'll get your back. We ain't got all day here. Everybody ready? They're almost on us. What in the actual fuck is going on here? What is this sick shit? Someone say something before I start. Hey, hey, hey! Don't you even fucking think about it, motherfucker. I will end you, you hear me? Troy. Troy, we talked about this. What? The fuck you talking about? I told you I wanted to get out. You said you'd help, then I'd help. I thought you meant get out of the pen, not whatever the fuck this shit is. I did. But now we can leave. Troy, you can come with us. What? Well, where would we go? Away from here. Together. Man, you smell really bad. You gotta get a bath before we... <laughs> oh. Come on. Don't make any noise, got it? They right, no wee wee. They don't like. And for fuck's sake, walk. Act like you belong, and you will belong. Get over here! I need more ammo! We got this, y'all. Is that Tavid? Where's Bill? We need him up here! Stay calm. Shh. And we okay? Don't worry. Why'd you Sarah? Quiet, honey. Clementine. Oh, Clementine, come, 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 come help me. Calm her down. Please, just say something. You're her friend. Clementine. Oh. Dad! That's mine, that's mine, that's mine! Oh no. Uh. Oh fuck, what do I do? Oh shit! Um... Oh no!
Um, the arm? Go for the arm? Is that what I should do? I feel like that's a bad idea. There's no tourniquet. She'll lose blood pressure and die. Yeah, but one of the options will make Kenny not hate me. <laughs> oh God, what do I do? Oh. Um. Um, what do I do for the best option here? Ooh. Um, I'm just gonna Google it because I don't want Kenny to hate me again. Yes, I, I know, I know you have to do dumb things to make Kenny like you, but Kenny is genuinely the best option. Okay. Good music. Look, Kenny's a piece of shit, but he's also, like, a genuine person. Sarah's glasses. She's gonna get someone killed. If I had said I had the radio, Carver might not have been as... as vicious to... Don't ever think that, darling. No telling what that asswipe would have done to you. So how's it look? Am I still gonna be pretty when this heals? You need to get look past the flowers, the think of the rabbits. The others. What are you gonna do? Not now. Not now. Where the fuck is Luke? They're all gonna die, Clementine. Don't let them pull you down with them. Oh, there's little words there. Hold on. Look, there's little bitty words here. This one says risk, vengeance, selflessness, trust, and compassion. I made bad decisions, apparently. Look at that. Except for the admitting to steal the walkie-talkie. But... Look... Hear me out, okay? Hear me out. These things are important. I think. I hope. Chopping off Sarita's arm would, uh... Smell the roses. Yeah. Chopping off Sarita's arm, she would die anyway. But Kenny would blame you. And I don't really care about Sarah. I like Sarah, but... She is genuinely one of those types of people that will get everybody killed. And I just can't have that. Sarita will now become zombie. I, I noticed that when I was uh, looking through my VODs yesterday, um, it mutes the end screen music anytime I sit there and watch enough of it. But it's not my fault. The music is so good. Especially the final season's um, credit roll song. Waiting to Die. Okay. 
I think that's the name of the song, Waiting to Die. Amid the Ruins. Where's my Jakey? No going back. Start episode four. Let me take a peek at something really quickly. Why would you eat yeast? Previously on The Walking Dead. Thank you, Lee. I can't even take care of myself. How am I supposed to raise a child? That part never happened. I wasn't truthful when I came across y'all at the lodge. Now folks are dead. And I can't help but feel I'm to blame. You are to blame. <laughs> Fucker. No! No! Stop me! <laughs> Kenny! Kenny! <sighs> when you cover yourself in their smell, rub the walker guts it's all It's so over weird you. that the graphics and you shaders are all different in these. To keep calm and I think it's because they're from the original it. cuts of the game and not the Go remake. On. You don't need to see this. A quote unquote definitive edition. That you also have to consider something. I have been hitting zombies with that axe. So I have the zombie blood on the axe. If I were to have chopped off the limb. Well. Well, there are choices, but they affect the story differently than. What you would think. Cemetery, it beat me. I'm dead. I'm dead. You're not dead yet. We'll, we'll figure something out. We have to get out of here. Oh, God. Serena. Oh, shit. She's gonna be okay. You're gonna be okay. Come on. We have to move. We have to. Going after Sarah. Luke. Uh. Kenny. No. I need you to get off me, pal. Thank you. That's mine. I would made it fast enough. Damn it! Go back! Go back! Jane! Jane! Thank God! Stop! Relax. You need to walk. 
Slowly, you'll be fine. I can't do this. You have to help us. <laughs> we can't come together like this. It's better if we spread out. You two will be fine. No, you don't understand. Just help us. I'll stay close and watch out for Rebecca. Your choice. through that cluster of walkers. There's too many. We'll make a cow catcher. Just... we need. Okay, just tell me what to do. There. That one looks light enough to carry. I'm gonna get on the far side of her. I need you to get her attention. I'm good at that. Fall behind, I can't come back for you. My little bitty 11 year old legs can't keep up very well. Episode 4, Amid the Room. Oh, stretch. Oh, they're all clean now. Unless they found a shower out in the, in the woods. Is everything alright? No. I'm not all right, but I'll be a lot better once we get with the others. I need to make sure everyone else made it out. Luke, Sarah, Kenny. Mm -hmm. God damn it. What if they aren't there? If they aren't, nothing we can do about it. Don't even say things like that. Fine. Sorry. Jesus. I don't even know if we're safe. What if the herd is still following us? We're fine. It's been quiet, but who knows? We'll watch out for each other. So long as we keep up a good pace. I know, I know. Just, I'm going as fast as I can. I know I should feel glad that we escaped, but I just can't stop thinking about the others. How could I leave Alvin behind? It was stupid. What was? Escaping? Look, I know we all agreed to use the herd to get out, but maybe we should have been more patient. Come up with something better. It worked. If you can call that working, we could have... I don't know. Maybe we should have done something else. Maybe then Sarita wouldn't have gotten bit. Look, I know that some of your people didn't make it, but Carver was crazy. Staying would have only prolonged the inevitable. I'm just saying that if people hadn't panicked, things might have turned out better. Of course! We panicked. We were scared. The plan was good. The execution was the messy part. That sounds an awful lot like you're saying it was their fault. What? No. No, that's not what I'm saying. Just... Ugh. I have to stop. I'm sorry. I don't want to slow us down. Can I just have a minute? Uh, yeah. Take a minute. Thank you. Alvin was supposed to be here for this. Is Alvin... He's dead is what he is. Thanks to that fucking madman back there. Kenny might know what to do. He had a family. 
Let's hope he made it to the meetup point then. What are you going to do with it? What do you mean by that? Uh, sorry. Just making conversation. It was nothing. No. What do you mean by that? Do with what? My baby? I'm just looking at the worst case scenario. You and Clem won't be able to raise a baby by yourselves. Not out here. I just mean it's going to need food and, you know, other stuff. We'll look after it together. Even if that's the case, you can't always protect everyone. And you assume I won't be capable enough. Just because you're some angry loner who doesn't care about anyone but herself doesn't mean you know better than me. Hey, I've seen it before. Back when it started, me and my sister, we what? were... She died? I don't need your pity. You don't... You don't have the right... Jane! Shit, I didn't mean it. Shit. She didn't mean it. Right? Oh, damn it. We can't just sit here doing nothing. I know, I know. They'll be here soon. Holy shit. It had been so long, we were starting to worry no one else would make it. Well... Besides. Now, hopefully we can figure out a plan. How's Sarita? I tried to talk to Kenny. He flipped out on me. He started yelling. Scary shit. I know. He probably didn't mean it. But it was scary. I hate to say it. Sarita's on her way out. She's probably gonna turn soon. Is, uh... Is he gonna take care of her? Jane! I know it's not pretty, but it's better than the alternative. It's not our decision to make. I know, Kenny. He'll do the right thing. Even if it's hard. All I'm saying is, the offer's there. If he wants it. Clem, I was thinking now that you're here, maybe you could go talk to him? Okay. It's all right, Sarita. It's gonna be okay. I'm gonna be here with you. Right till the end. Hi, Kenny. You think I don't know what y'all are whispering about over there? I said we just wanted a little fucking time alone. To say goodbye. <laughs> shh, shh, shh. It's okay, babe. It's okay. We're gonna get through this. We're gonna do what we gotta do. Gonna play the shit hand that this shit world dealt us. Kenny, I'm so sorry about Sarita. You hear that, babe? Clem says she's sorry. Don't that make you feel better? <laughs> Why are you acting this way? Take one wild guess, Clementine. I tried to save look her. At her. I said, look at her. She is going to die because of you. Uh, 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 uh. You think because you're a little girl, you can just get people killed and no one will care? That because you're sorry, it'll all magically go away? That's not how it works! I think he does this like no much, for the like, no matter time, what. Just leave us alone. He doesn't actually blame time. me for this one. I'm going crazy just sitting here not doing anything. Just give it time, Mike. It's still early. Clem, how'd it go? Kenny's really mad at me. Clem, you can't just expect him to bounce back. That man's going through. 
At least you tried. Still, doesn't exactly help us figure out what we're gonna do now. We got no food, no water, it's getting damn cold, and we're losing daylight fast. When the others get back, they'll know what to do. Luke will have a plan. We thought Kenny would have a plan. Mike, Bonnie. <sighs> Mike's got a point. You can't just keep sitting around waiting. Things are difficult enough right now, and soon you'll have a baby on your hands, too. What, suddenly you're pretending to be concerned? Seeing you people floundering the minute things don't go according to plan has just got me on edge, all right? This was the meeting place. We should stay here and try to make it safe. Clementine's right. If we leave here, they'll never find us. Okay, fine. In the meantime, I'll take Clem and we can go look that way. See if we find him. Clem took good care of herself back at Carver's. I want her watching my back. If they're alive, they can't be far. We can find them. One way or the other. Thank you. Listen, Rebecca. If anything goes wrong here, you got something to protect yourself? I've got this. You don't think I'd need to... I don't know. But you better keep that close. Come on, Clem. But again, I, he just kind of blows up on you no matter what. But... The path that I took, he doesn't blame me. They hope. Look, I'm gonna level with you. I was just looking for an excuse to get out of there for a bit. And you should know that finding your friends, that's a shot in the dark. I don't know about that. We shouldn't give up before we've even looked. Okay, but I wanted to talk to you, away from them. You wouldn't have made it this far if you weren't smart. But I still... I just gotta warn you. That group is cracking. I've seen it before. And, well, a lot of times, it's better to be on your own. I know you see what I'm talking about. You don't want to be here when they start turning on each other. These are good people. We help each other. I can't leave that. You'd be surprised. How much help is Kenny going to be? What he's going through? It's more of a liability than anything. I hate the space bar. I didn't know you and could do Rebecca's that. Rebecca's situation is not making things better back there. You get enough broken people together, and all you're gonna get are broken decisions. Have you just kept to yourself this whole time? Of course not. But sometimes you gotta learn the hard way. I'm trying to save you that trouble. For what it's worth, I like most of the people in your crew. But groups fall apart. People get killed. Then why did you bring me with you? I'm just trying to give you the tools you need to make it, if you wanna. Like your jacket. It looks warm, but a walker will bite right through that. My sister Jamie had a good leather one. Wish I still had it. You coulda. What... what happened to your sister? <laughs> Seems we always want to talk about the end, don't we? <laughs> Project Zomboid, another you know, jacket. You being up. a big sister is... well... it's funny. It's really easy to be mean. Oh? You know, hide her toys, make fun of her bad haircut, give her the bad haircut on purpose. I mean, I did put the gum there. I figured I should get it out. Is that really what it's like having a sister? No, no. It's not all bad, but... What could I do? She thought I was her best friend. I couldn't go unpunished. <laughs> Every summer we'd go to this amusement park in Virginia. But the best part wasn't the rides. It was that nobody knew us there. And I'd... I'd pretend we weren't sisters. Just friends <clears throat> all right 
jackpot. But these walkers got some good stuff. Yeah, we should check them out. But you know why, right? Only because they're fresh. A walker a with one bullet. Old walkers are a waste of time. They're holding credit cards and busted old pagers. But these ones weren't walkers all that long ago. They were survivors. They might have useful stuff. That one's not coming back. See what else he's got. I'll check this one. Smart haircut. Thanks. So, has your crew always been so dysfunctional? You fit in there, but you weren't like them. It's never easy, but I don't really know how it's supposed to be. Butt pocket. John Sandusky. Find anything? Driver's licenses, two of them. Well, I guess some people just can't leave the past behind. Other butt pocket. A walker with Hold two on bullet. On. Ammo's getting hard to come by, and things aren't going to get better. That's it. Nail file. A nail file. These things are great. Sharpen a blade, strike a flint. Jamie always had one in her purse. It jabbed my hand when I went reaching in. <sighs> you can never be too sure with these things. Nice Here, jacket, give me though. a hand. Sarah's glasses. Uh oh. These glasses. They're Sarah's. Looks like your friend didn't make it. Sorry. All we know is that she was here. It could be a good sign. Don't go getting your hopes up. Look, Clem, I know what you want me to say, but. Yeah! Sarah! God damn it! Shit! Okay, come on. We gotta find a way in. Looks like there's an opening over there. Oh no. oh no. It's Nick. Look, he's your friend. You should do this. I'm sorry, Nick. You missed! Why is it that whenever it's like a serious thing, they always swipe? They always miss. Can I have the back, please? Thank you. Hello! Welcome to the chat. Welcome to the stream. Hope you're doing well today. It's alright. It's done. Poor Nick. If it comes to it. If Luke, or Sarah, or anybody needs to be put down, you gotta be ready for it. No hesitation. You know that, right? I know. I've done this before. That hatchet of it yours was. seems to get stuck pretty easily. It's gonna get you killed. Here, use this. Ice pick. Very effective. We can do this. We're not gonna search it. No, take his hat, take his hat, take his hat, take his hat! Take his hat. Ah! Damn. Could've gotten a new hat. They don't sound too good. Clock is ticking. I'm ready. I know you are. We need to get a better look. How 
about you get the close one, and I'll hop the fence to get the other. Go for it. Well, howdy, mister. You stabbed him in the shoulder. There we go. Nice work. You know what you're doing. Now watch this. Got a nice little addition to your arsenal. Kick him in the leg. Right. Take out the knees first. Then, put a knife in the back of its head when it's down. Alright, let's get a look at what we've got on deck. What are you doing? Why are you doing this? There's too many. We're not getting in while they're still hanging out over there. Maybe we can get them to move. Excuse me. Oh, that's not good. You did the knee thing. Nice trick, huh? Come on. That's a lot of walkers. They well, worked up about something. And you'd go what for gets the, the interest of the dead? You'd go for the back of the head either way because it's softer than the front. How do we get in? If we can make enough noise on this side, we can lure those walkers over here. Then we might just be able to go through that other trailer yeah. and get to your friends. What do you think of that? I mean, I'm just making it up as I go along. If you think that's best, I'm with you. Good. What's going to grab their attention? A truck? I got you covered. No keys. Damn it, don't do this. That's good, but we need to keep it going somehow. Oh, we don't know that the battery's dead. There's no key in the ignition. No, 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 no. Come on! I need... What are you thinking? Horn, it'll keep honking and draw the walkers. Just like moths to a flame. Give me a hand. They would. Come on. Oh, he got up. Crap. We gotta move it. It's locked. Then try Thank something you, else. Centers. Yeah, it's good. Kick it. You're gonna need to use more force than that. Put some muscle into it. I'll hold them off. Just get us in there. Kick it again. Hurry! An 11 year old just kicked down a door. Help me 
block this. Hurry! <laughs> Sir, please. Who's out there? Luke! Clem? Oh, thank God. Did Nick find you? He made a run for it. Looking for help. I... I saw him outside. Look, he was out there. But we took care of him. You know. Fuck. Fuck. When I heard y'all banging through the door, I thought the walkers come to take what's left of us. Luke, where's Sarah? I... I don't know what to do about her. What's the matter? It's true. You gotta help. It's absolutely true. Clementine just gets stronger and stronger throughout the series, too. See, it's just like I told you. Like, scary okay. strong. Sarah, come on. We... we have to go now. What's she doing? Can you get up? I don't know what to do. I can't snap her out of it. Okay, I tried to carry her, but I... I guess Carver messed me up pretty good back there. I don't know, it was just after Carlos, she just lost All right. her. Started running through the woods like a maniac. I, I chased her for I don't know how long, and then... Well, she saw this mobile home made a beeline right for her. I'm just glad y'all are here. We're not out of the woods yet. What are we gonna do about her? We gotta do something. Maybe she'll listen to me. Maybe. Listen, I, uh... I'm gonna tear this place open pretty soon. We can't stay. So, we, we gotta get her up, or, or we gotta... Well, I've been trying. I've been trying for hours. I can barely get her to look at me. Clem? Sarah, it's me. Hi. I've lost so many people, but it's made me stronger. I've learned to take care of myself. Things aren't like they were before. Everything is hard now. You say that like it's so easy. Not everyone can be like you, but you can be too, Sarah. I wish that were true. <laughs> Crap, we're surrounded. What? What about the skylight? All we got. Clem, there's no time! Clem. When everything started, I met my friend Lee. He tried to help me find my parents. He protected me more than anyone else in my whole life. He died to keep me safe. I was so scared. But you're still here. Because he taught me to be strong. Even when I'm scared, because he wanted me to live. And your dad protected you because he wanted you to live. He would still want that. Get to the skylight, now! Come on, I'll boost you. What's going on back there? My ribs. We're gonna need something to stand on. Luke, get over here. Help me hold this. Clem, see what you can find. I mean, there's a box. Can we use this? It's not big enough. The fridge. Forget it. That thing ain't budging. Find something else. Not a whole lot here. Can we use that? Yeah, that would work. What? Oh, shit. Okay, ready? On three. One, two, three! Bust the window. Scare me. Clem! Clem, help her! Help Jane! Okay, go, go! Get... Keep pushing! Go! It's through! Luke, 
You first. We need you up top. Uh, 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 okay, come on. Clem! Sarah, we have to go. Are you listening? I can't do it. Now, Clementine! If she doesn't want to go, you can't make her. Don't let her take you down, too. Not again. I can't! I can't! I can't! Daddy! I'm... Don't make me leave you. Come on. Dying like this is stupid. You can't save her, Clem. We have to go. Believe me. I know about this. Hurry up! Clementine! Grab her! I slap her! We gotta go. Sarah. Come on! Remember, Sarah, I kicked in a door. You could be next. That's what Clementine said. Remember, if you can kick in a door, you have the power to break bone. Just remember that. Uh, uh, well, okay. certain bones. Look, I hate to ask this, but are we there yet? <laughs> We're not far. Look, Sarah, you can get through this. We both will. But I'm not okay. Just try. Can you do that? She just needs a little time, Clem. Leave her be for a bit. But it's a really shitty door. I mean, the rib cage is a pretty shitty set of bones. I don't know about this. You can break a rib the way by she coughing. Is, she's gonna cause problems. What happened in there? When we went in there, you were ready to help, but then something changed. Look, I just, I'd seen that kind of thing before. I just didn't want to stick around for the bitter end. Sorry, I... I don't mean to sound harsh. It's just the way things are. Does that mean you'd turn on me if I was hurt or something? No. I mean... Clem. I wouldn't have to. And just because you got her out of there today, doesn't mean you saved her. Trust me. I tried to save Jamie too, but she... gave up. I just, I can't believe it. As soon as you guys said go, I was the first one up on the roof. Like I had already made up my mind. Luke, you can't let it eat away at you. Well, I can't forget it. I dragged my sister across four states. And every morning she'd say she wasn't getting up. So I'd convince her, or push her. A goddamn carrier if I had to. Until this time, walkers cornered us, forced us up to the roof. And, and when they kept coming, I, I couldn't make her jump, couldn't throw her. So I tried something else. I told her she could have what she wanted, and I left her there. Jumped to the next building over by myself. You left your sister? How could you leave your sister? I don't... I don't know. It killed me for a long time. But I finally realized that I'd put her on a forced march through hell, when all she really wanted was for me to let her go. Sarah was that way too. Jane? No regard for her own safety. Or ours. Sarah and Jamie aren't the same person. We don't know if she'll end up like that. People don't change. Come on, let's get back to your friends. See, I always... Here's a small detail I think a lot of people overlook. Um, in the zombie apocalypse click, or click, uh, you know, idea, you'll always hear somebody say, people don't change or people won't change, that kind of thing. But it's like, so you were always a murderer? 
It's, is that what you're saying to me? Because you've changed. So clearly people can change. Dum dum. Son of a bitch. You found him. Yeah, I'm a little amazed myself, to tell you the truth. If it weren't for Clem and Jane, well, I don't know what would have happened. Sarah, how you doing, hon? That's okay, sweetie. Whenever you're ready, I'm just glad you're here. But wait, wait. Where's Nick? Uh, Rebecca, how about we, uh, we go for a walk for a minute? Let's just give him some space. I have something I need to talk to you about, too. <laughs> no. No. <laughs> I ain't gonna sugarcoat this. That baby's coming even faster than Rebecca's letting on. But I was hoping you might know. Does Luke know anything about babies? Has he, I don't know, mentioned Carlos teaching him anything? Kenny had a family. He could help. Where is he? He brought Sarita in there not long after you left. I don't know if he's done it yet. I ain't seen him since. I don't think he's doing well. Uh, I'll go in there. Thank you, Clem. I really do think that might be best. <sighs> Can I, like, walk around? Nah. Get out of your burbs. I wanted to check on you. Make sure you're okay. She didn't want me to wait, but I had to. In case by some crazy chance, she didn't come back. That beautiful face. So I waited. I thought maybe she'd be different. You know what it feels like to get beaten almost to death. Peaceful. It feels peaceful. It was like I was floating away, watching the whole thing happen to me. And then I woke up again, and nothing's changed. I'm still taking a beating. Every day. Duck. Katya. Sarita. No peace. No rest. The punches just keep coming. Why the hell couldn't Carver have just finished me off? Obviously, I ain't helping anyone by being here. That baby's almost here, and Rebecca needs your help. Yeah, I guess she does. Now, nah, don't worry yourself about this. It's nothing. Hadn't killed me yet, anyway. It looks like it must hurt. Well? Oh shit, does that mean what I think it does? What are we supposed to do? We should see what's going on. Are you okay? How does it feel? It feels wet. That's how it feels. What's going on? Rebecca's water broke. Mm. Oh, Christ. We should... I don't know what we should do. Oh, fuck. 
And that means the baby's coming, right? Kenny, thank God. I think the baby's coming. What do we do? All right, all right. Give me a second. No way can Rebecca trap her like this. He's right. She's gonna make a lot of noise. They'll be able to smell her, too. What should we do first, Kenny? Kenny, come on, you gotta focus. Right, right, sorry. Clean water for one thing, and blankets. And we gotta get out of this damn cold, too. That map shows a couple of buildings nearby. Maybe one of them could do the trick. The museum seems like it could be a good start. I'll go. Good idea. Mike, think you could go with her? Sure thing. I'll check the building by the river. Okay, then. Kenny, you, uh, you stick with Rebecca, and I will check the perimeter for walkers. Sarah? Sarah? You just stay here with Rebecca and Kenny, okay? Clem... I know it must have been hard, but thank you for talking to Kenny. I'd love for you to give me and Mac a hand looking at the museum, but I was thinking... How do we know Jane ain't just gonna take off? Maybe you should go with her. Make sure she comes back. What do you mean by that? You know, she doesn't seem to like being around people much. And she volunteered to head off awful fast. I guess it could be nothing. She's helped us so far. Yeah, no, you're right. Maybe it's nothing. Just something to think about. Why were they just standing over there basically A-posing? Okay, we're looking for warm blankets, clean water, disinfectant. That all sound right? I want to check on Sarah. I'll help everyone else, too. I think that'd be good. Yeah, yeah, sure. All right, everyone, you know what to do. Let's be fast, and let's be careful. Have you slept? Hey, Sarah. You know, Rebecca's starting... They were going to leave me, weren't they? I don't know. How come... You didn't leave me. Because we're friends. No. We're not. I just want my dad. I know. When he... When he gets here, we should all go back to the cabin. We're safe there. Sarah, your dad... You know he isn't coming, right? Sarah? Hey, I think that's all she can take for now. She'll be all right. The others could really use a hand scout for supplies. I'll see if Mike and Bonnie need any help. Good. Don't be too long if you can help it. Oh. <sighs> Who has messaged me? One moment, I'm gonna listen to something super quick. Just have to mute my computer audio. J ate a really hot chip.
Oh, man. Poor Jay. I want that chip. Oh, man. <laughs> that poor bastard. Now, obviously, you could just go to Jay's channel and watch the clip. But I'm going to turn on my audio and you guys are going to get to hear the very last bit of that. Got hands that I do not currently have full access to. Yeah, we're going to skip to the end. You know, heavy cream would have been a better choice. That's the fat content okay. that helps uh, with the burn. Uh, uh, uh. Holy hell. I got to take the hits off for just a sec, guys. I'm sorry. And then he just, the, the clip immediately stops there. Because I have to take the headset off. Oh, the poor bastard. See, I would, I, I don't have much fear when it comes to eating spicy food or eating most anything i'll do it um i also have a really like i have a decently high pain tolerance so i think that i could do it maybe maybe i guess that's the place there fuck it's a wreck you ain't even been inside yet just look at it glass all blown out walkers hanging around maybe we can still find something yeah, maybe. Uh, slash J Hutch VA. Sorry, I just. Dot TV slash. Damn it. J Hutch VA. There you go. He's absolutely 100% worth watching. He's a really funny guy. He's like one of my best friends. So, uh, yeah. I just really want sticking with y'all to work out. And it's been hard so far. How about you make it up to us by helping out with those walkers up there? Yeah, all right. Jane showed me a good way to attack them. If you take out a knee, they always fall. And then you can stab them in the back of the neck. Hmm. A good smack to the head's always done fine for me. down the leg yeah okay <laughs> let's do this before more of them show up so the knee is about half watch out for the broken the glass i love it's that line over. okay somebody's already been through here guess that's not a surprise still might be something worthwhile left let's check it out we need to look fast so we can get back to the others let's just make a sweep i really don't want to go back empty-handed 
Keep one eye on the woods while we're in here. I don't want nothing sneaking up on us. I watch this side, you watch the other. Deal. Water coolers come over them. See? I don't care about Mike. You can't they go. say that stuff about water and blankets just to get people out of the way. Oh, you don't know what the hell you're talking about. And you didn't have to come with me. No, I wanted to. Never mind. I want to eat chip. Yeah, I'll just I'll just link the the whole thing. Well, here for everybody else, it's him eating a chip. Do you see anything good? Not so far, but let's give the place a good going over. I would eat the chip. Oh, Civil War coat. Can I wear this? Hey, look at this. An old coat. Nice. Good find, Clem. You should hang on to that. It's going to get a lot colder before it starts getting warmer. Do you want it? That's real sweet of you, Clem, but you should probably hang on to it for Rebecca. I guess you've already got that old coat I gave you. I feel so bad about everything that happened. Hopefully you won't always think of me like that. Not that I blame you if you did. I haven't always used the best judgment. It seems like you're with us now. That's what matters most. Wrapped a baby in a confederate coat. Clem found a jacket. That's great, but uh, isn't Gray the, you know, uh, we can't put Rebecca in a confederate coat. Oh, I didn't even think about that. Guess it's better than nothing, though. Fucking nutters. They're worried about the fucking color of the coat. Of a war that happened like 200 years ago. I uh, shut There's up. Sure, been some animals through here. Watch where you step. It's the apocalypse. Any luck? No, not so much. Unless you want some broken glass. Water? Over here. Water. Bottled Wody. and clean. That's just what we need. Wody. It's locked. You want to kick it down? That'd make an awful lot of noise. Yeah, maybe. You know, if somebody was small enough, they could maybe squeeze through that gap there. I could try to pry it open some more. But I don't know if that'll help much. All right, all right, I'll go. Thanks. You know, if we had a, just open the door a, from the you know, other just, side, you know, a, an expendable little out. girl Might who does everything else for us. For I'm stuck. Okay, maybe I push from. Or pull, preferably pull. Oh. Dylan! I like how, uh, well, they kicked the door open happened. anyway. Guess I'm not quite as small as I used to be, but you're tough for your size. Shit, you're tough for my size. I'm sorry I asked you. I won't do it again. At least now we got something to bring back. I'll keep checking the other room. Let's get this water. <laughs> hey, I got this.
Those things yeah, weigh like sixty pounds a pop nah, or more. all right. I know it looks like a lot, but we could all go through this pretty quick. Carver was crazy, but at least his shelves were always full. We're gonna have to be conservative as hell. We'll make a plan. Everyone will have enough. I hope so. That baby's gonna be hard on everyone, especially Rebecca. And between you and me, she's not looking too good. Hey, guys! Come on, stick close. I just walked on in like I'd owned the place. Figure it'd make a nice meal. We can eat raccoon? I'd eat the shit out of that raccoon. Not like, I mean, just, just that I'd be really happy to eat that raccoon. I'm starving. Fresh meat would go a long way with Rebecca. Yeah. Shoot! Don't let it get away! Where is it? Over here! <laughs> oh! Oh, shit! Shoot! No! Dang it! <laughs> Not with the walkers out there. Man, I'm even a three-course meal. How'd I get to a place where I'm sad I'm not eating raccoon? Well, that sucks. Yeah. Yeah, it does. There's a few folks that could use a hot meal. It's probably for the better. Come on. Let's just get this back to Rebecca and the others. We don't have much time to waste. I need a raccoon, maybe. Depends on what it was fed. I'm not supposed to be in labor yet, Kenny. What if something's wrong? Nothing's wrong. Babies know how to be born. How long did your son take? How you doing, Beck? Okay. I'm okay. How did you guys make Museum's out? Museum's a bust. All glass walls shattered. It'd be impossible. And it was picked over pretty good. Lots of folks probably been there before us. A walker in there almost got us. Lucky Mike was there. Clem's the one who finished it off. Looks like you also found some water. We sure did. Good, good. We save all of that for Rebecca. Anybody else gets a thirst, you can go to the river. That tent is like awfully purple now. Hey, Clem. Glad you made it back safe. How are you feeling? Scared. And it hurts. <laughs> I wish Alvin was here. I'll thank you for the follow. Everything Alvin did was for Thank you, you so baby. much for the vo the Back follow lens coon. I hope I said he that right. He behind to stop the people chasing us. He died to keep us safe. Jesus. Of course. Of course he did. I know it's a waste of time, but I can't stop thinking about things I should have said to him. Things I should have talked to him about. How am I ever going to do this without him? We'll all help you keep the baby safe. Oh, yeah? You're a good kid, Clementine. I'm glad you'll be there to watch out for this baby. Ah, oh shit. I got this. I'm worried that we ain't seen Jane in a while. Go check on her, would you? Yeah, go on ahead. I'll be fine. I talked to Kenny? Why is her thing purple? Are you okay, Kenny? Sure. Why wouldn't I be? Why are you purple? Is it because you're close to that lighting and like the lighting of that layer is on the same layer as your circle? Why are you? What purple? are you thinking about? I'm worried about Rebecca. Having a baby can be rough enough on a woman, even in a nice, clean hospital. Does she even have a shot out here?
Well, you're a real delight, Bonnie. I mean, to be fair, to be fair, you were at one point a heroin addict. Hey, Sarah. Good talk. Be rad, or is that eight rad? Eight rads a second. I don't be rad. You get eight rads a second being near that porta potty. Hey, Clementine, oh, God. up here. Look at that lettuce on the ground. I think that was a lettuce. Oh, hey, museum was a bust, huh? We found water, a lot of it. Well, that's something at least. Check this out. This gate's still locked, which means that hopefully no one's gotten to whatever was locked in there in the first place. I've been trying to get it open, but it's locked pretty tight. Can't see what's inside. That could be a place for Rebecca to have the I baby. see comics. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. Hmm, maybe I can pick the lock. The nail file? Versatility is not overrated. I don't think you can pick you know, a lock with a uh, nail file. It wouldn't hurt to try a heavier hand with this thing. See if you can find something bigger. We might need to bust the mechanism. I, I genuinely don't think it's possible to... Look, what's this? I mean, look. Oh, well. Oh, does it require a it's fucking broken. quarter? Damn it! Something smaller than a cannon. But in the trash can. Find anything? No, not even trash. Fucking raccoons were here. Okay, I guess I'll just use the cannon. Come here, cannon. Oh, whoa. You think this thing still works? <laughs> Check the muzzle, Napoleon. Oh. They fill them with cement so they're safe. That's not fully true. How about this one? Can I use this one? What's in this one? Oh, I can see things! There's some buildings across the river. I think I can see a church. That's the nearest people. river crossing is miles up. Rebecca wouldn't make it in her condition. Keep it in mind. Though. Jane, there's someone coming toward us. Shit, shit, shit. He's coming this way. And who knows if he has friends nearby. I don't like having some stranger sneaking around so... Should we run for it? Normally, I would. But it's too much of a risk. Mm. I can't lead him to the others. But we should scope him out and see what he's up to. I don't like having some stranger sneaking around so close to the others. We've got enough on our plates with a baby coming. We should just try and stay out of sight till he's gone. Good call. Shit. Hide now. I'll be right back.
a time to scream and yell, I suppose. Hello, I'm back. Sorry about that. Ugh. Подожди, подожди. Do you understand me? Yes. I'm Arvo. I'm going to go. I don't want to shoot. I don't want to shoot anyone, especially маленькая девочка, uh, a little girl. Okay, I'm leaving. I'll leave you alone. Okay, I am not going. Ah! Back up. Put the bag down. Clem, make sure he doesn't have any other weapons in there. No, I have no more guns. I swear to we you. We just need an Anything? Oxycos. Whoa. That's a serious stash of meds. No, 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 no. Take whatever you want, but don't take the medicine. It's for my sister. My older sister, she's sick. The pain makes her cry and that makes those things come. Please. You're lying. No, it's true. No, I'm, I'm not. She's in the woods. Sister or not, we could really use that stuff. No, you are not nice people. You have already left me defenseless, and now you, you take my sister's medicine? You are worried. Hey, we've got people who are suffering, who need this medicine. Luke's still a wreck after Carver's. Kenny's a mess. Rebecca's in pain. Look at all of it. Clementine, we my need that stuff. People are suffering just as much as yours. You are not special. You're not taking them. I'm not robbing anybody. Just let him go. Oh, Bush. Thank you, Clementine. Thank you. <laughs> oh, what are you doing? You don't have to do this. Jane, what are you doing? Don't you ever come around here again. I don't care if you do have some sick sister. The next time I see you, you won't just be walking away. Go. Can't believe I've gotten into this mess. Threatening some stupid kid? I thought we were just gonna talk to him. I needed to make sure he didn't come back here again. Go get the others. I'm gonna get this place opened, and we need to get moved in ASAP. You can't pick a lock with a nail file. You could probably use the back of it to bust the tumbler, but even then there's not an, there's not a whole lot of mass to a nail file. I don't think it would do much at all. Busting Clem. the tumbler is definitely Clem, hey. not right. Any luck with that observation, Dick? I was just checking on Rebecca and Kenny. They said they hadn't heard from you in a while. I don't guess there would be much, but Jane seems pretty resourceful. God knows we could use a break. The deck might be a safe place we can stay tonight. Where Rebecca could have the baby. At least if we can't. Not with find a nail file. Better. I guess that's something. I should check it out. Is Jane She's still trying up there now? Yeah. 
She's trying to get the gift shop opened. You know, I can't figure her out. She's trying to I mean, she pick really the lays line. it on the line, but at the same time, she doesn't show you anything that counts. I'm still not sure what to think about her. She's strong, and she's been helping us, but she's cold. Maybe, but nobody's that cold. I'm definitely starting to think we might need to branch out. What do you mean? Jane seems like the kind of person who gets tempered by hardship, you know? But when I look at Kenny now... Huh? He just... he seems broken. And broken people get reckless. I know you got a history with him. Look, I think he's a good guy. At least started as a good guy. You're wrong. Kenny's stronger than anyone. He tries to protect us. I don't know, Clem. I used to think that maybe all the horror hadn't gotten to you yet. But you watched your friend murder Carver. Not just kill him, but... Clem, you didn't even blink. That, that's not true. What would you have done if it was you? Well, I don't know. Really, I don't. I just think less. I need to tell the others about the deck. Yeah, good. I will, uh, I'll see you back there. Luke, you've almost gotten us killed more than Kenny has. Not saying something. Because it's only episode four. Oh yeah, I forgot about the water. Stop. Jesus. Clem, I, I don't think he's okay. He's losing it. I mean, that... That isn't... He's doing it to protect oh, well. us. Sure. Careful with the back seating, though. Besides, people are more important than water. It was about as human as I've felt in a long time. I almost forgot what... Clementine! Je Jesus, Clem, it, it's just not... Um, Luke? It, it just happened. It, it, I wasn't... Uh, <gasps> wait, what's going on? In here. Let's get you comfortable. What the fuck are you two doing up here? Kenny, what's going on? We got God knows how many walkers out there, which you were supposed to be keeping an eye out for. Hey, hold on a second. Just tell me what's going on. What's going on is you're a reckless fucking moron. Luke, shut up! I didn't... No! Fuck. I'm sorry. Shit. Right over Shit. here. Uh. They're coming up the stairs! Here. Uh, we should... You want to help? Get out there and keep the walkers off us. I'll do this. I've been here before. They can't rush us on the stairs! Shoot them before they get to us! Shit, that's a lot of... We need everyone out here! What do I do? Whatever you can, Clay. 
I'm staying with you. Fine, fine. Help her relax. Everything's gonna be all right. Just try to calm down. Stop telling me to be calm. You can trust Kenny. He won't let anything happen to your baby. Can I do this? Clem, just make it stop. Please. This baby is coming, like it or not. You can do this. You've gone through too much to give up now. Okay, okay. Uh, I can... I, oh, I can talk. Just don't let go. Good, good. Clem, you need to get out there and help the others. I've got this. Keep shooting! They are not getting up here! We're gonna run out of ammo! Find something to block this gate! Help us! The cannon? We can block the gate with this! I'll help, I'm coming! Together! Ready? Oh shit! Holy fuck! What the fuck is going on out there? That's Get back! Good. Get back! Oh shit! I can't hold on! Uh, uh, help me! Uh, uh, um, come on! Sorry, Jane. Oh, Jane! Save Sarah! Are you crazy? There's no way she's getting out of that. Pull me up. It's suicide. Uh, we can't leave her without even trying. Just go! This is season two, chapter four. Push! Or episode four. Oh shit. They're climbing up. What? They're gonna make it up here. Fuck! Does this shit ever end? But we need to break the rest of the deck. She's right. She's right. Drop the whole deck. Drop the... Are you fucking crazy? How are we gonna do that? I don't know. Just look around. That's not. Look. That'll work. We bust that, the whole thing comes down. Boost me. They're getting closer. Clementine, move it. Come on. I'm Man, that thing would yank and just take off Clementine. Watch it, son of a bitch. I think I think the deck brained her. No. If only we had some water. Oh well. Uh Alvin Jr.
Hey, Clementine. Hey. How's he doing? He's perfect. Who's a perfect little man? Who's the most perfect little man in the whole world? He looks like Alvin. You think so? Definitely. Thank you. <coughs> it looks like a bundle of pixels, I'm honestly. Fine, I'm fine. I just wish I could get warm. Clem, why don't you give her that coat we found? Sorry, you know, about the color. You really think I care about that? <laughs> Do you want to hold him? Could I? Of course. Your family. Here. If you start crying, you're going to be Walker Bait. should rest especially you when's the last time you slept Kenny How about two years ago I'm fine plus somebody's got to watch you while mama gets your beauty sleep you never forget that smell hmm placenta Listen, I'm sorry. I've got to go. Yeah, you did kind of fuck up. I understand. Good. I was worried this was going to turn yeah. into a thing. You know, Jamie, Sarah, I'm not going to stick around and watch it happen to you too. You know the score. You're a smart kid. What? I thought you believed in me. I do. But give it enough time, and everyone's luck runs out. Listen, when the shit hits the fan, because it always does, remember that you can make it on your own. It's not an option for everyone. If things start heading south, don't let them drag you down with them. You don't owe them anything. They'll make you feel like you do. Like it's all one happy family. Oh, and push comes to shove. I owe these people everything. They've kept me safe, looked out for me. I wouldn't be here without them. Well, they can't keep you safe forever. No one is safe forever. You take care of yourself. I mean that. Here. Thanks. Yeah. Versatility I, is key. Uh, I still got some extra I food. Go. What do I do with those? Maybe I feed them to Alvin Jr. Make him strong. Feed them to Alvin Jr. He will be strong. Hey, thought you'd be asleep by now. You okay? You fucked up so hard. No. I guess we all got stuff on our minds. The temperature's dropping. We're low on food. I think we gotta stay put for a while. You know, for Rebecca and the baby. So I'm thinking as soon as it gets light, Jane and I should go explore, see if we can find some place to scavenge. What? Jane left. For good. What? When? Just now. Are you serious? She didn't say anything about leaving to me? What the fuck? Damn it! Hey, keep it down. Sorry, I... Sorry. Just... 
Jane's gone. Really? Luke? Of all the childish bullshit. Childish? God damn it, Kenny. You know what? Just lay off. No, you put our lives, this baby's life at risk, so you two could roll around like fucking teenagers. Look, I made a mistake, all right? No, it's not all right. Kenny's just trying to protect the group. Well, coming down on me isn't helping. Look, I'm sorry, okay? I fucked up. But you know what, Jane? She made an offer, and Jesus Christ, I needed it, okay? I mean, look around you, okay? Everything is shit. So forgive me for wanting to enjoy one moment of something else. Fine, but this baby, he's what matters now, got it? So get your shit Kenny, together. Where's my baby? Is everything all right? Everything is fine. We're gonna need a good place to raise him, which ain't here. We gotta push on. We head north, get to Wellington. That's our best shot. There's a town across the river. It might be safe there. Or at least it might be a good stop on the way. Kenny! I'm sorry. Clem's got a point. That could be a whole town full of supplies, and not that far from here. A whole lot better than here, anyway. Looks like that's our best bet. We need to get on the road as soon as possible. We leave at first light. Whoa, whoa! What are you talking about? <coughs> Rebecca needs rest. A few days at, at the least. We've got that baby formula. And it won't help the rest of us. And what about shelter? We'll freeze out here. Kenny's right. We should leave in the morning. Rebecca is not in any condition to travel. I'll be fine. If there's a chance there's food, we have to risk it. <sighs> okay, fine, if that's what you want. Look, we should all try to get some sleep. It's been a long day. You look at me like that, you almost got the entire fucking group <laughs> killed. Because you wanted to get your wee wee damp. Fucking wiener. Sorry. Okay, babes. It's gonna be all right. She's exhausted. We all are. I can keep going. We should have stayed put. We should have stayed put until she was in better shape. She wasn't gonna get no better back there. We gotta find food. Get her someplace warm. This look like someplace warm to you? We can still turn back. That's not an option. Everybody hang in there. We gotta keep moving if we're gonna make it to that town before nightfall. You don't even listen to anyone else. You just go on barking orders. You gotta lighten up, okay? You're pushing them too hard. Kenny's right. We have to keep going. Yeah, I guess. Of course, I'd expect you to say that scene is how you agreed with him last night. I did, because you're a piece of shit. Uh, uh, oh. Oh, here. There's a place to sit. Rebecca, let me take the baby. Oh, he's okay. I've got him. No, you rest for a minute. I'll wash him. Back off, Kenny. She said she doesn't want you to take the baby. Don't be weird about it, okay? I ain't Shh. being weird about it. Yeah, you kind of have been. Kenny knows what he's doing. He's been a dad before. That's not the part I was concerned about. Hello? What is this? Arvo? Arvo? Jane and I met him on the observation deck. Before everyone else came. You know this son of a bitch? Well, what's he want? He doesn't look like much. That ain't the point. Hello? Please! We should help him. 
We kind of owe him one. Do we? Hello. Your name is Clementine. Yes? Hi, Arvo. These are your friends? I'm hoping you can help me now, not like before. All of you can help. I'm sorry about before. Yes. I need, uh, uh, thanks for bandages. I need bandages. Are you hurt? No. Nikaki Aruji! Nikaki Aruji! Nikaki Aruji! Fuck! Это они? Да. Это они. Скажи им, чтобы они поставили их оружие на пол, и что мы забираем все, что они имеют. Что ты хочешь, чтобы я взял? Откуда я знаю? Чтобы у них не было. Может быть, у них есть патроны. I told them you are the ones who robbed me. They think it's funny that you're just a little girl. And they want you and your friends to put down the guns, so we can take your things. Whoa, whoa, hang on. What the hell? Why get excited? Clementine, you robbed this guy? It wasn't me who took your stuff. It was Jane. It wasn't any of us. Jane, where's the other woman? Что происходит? Их было двое раньше. I do not see a woman who was with you. I don't know. I don't know where she is. It's a trap. I know it. Они прячутся. Я знаю, что они прячутся. This can be easy for you. Arvo, скажи, чтобы они опустили оружие. All of you, just put your guns down. This will be fine. Find my ass. We have a baby. You have a baby with you? У них крутничковый ребенок. Если ты знаешь, что хорошо для тебя, отпусти оружие сейчас! И слишком много! Бурико, отойди! Drop that now or I'm gonna fucking shoot it! I'll do it! You! Don't even try it, motherfucker! I guarantee I'm a better shot than you are. I'll drop you both before you can play. Everybody be cool! This doesn't have to go down like this! Don't kill us! Don't shoot! Look, you don't know these stupid people. Let's just think about this. I don't want to have to do this. We can work something out. But I will if nobody does anything stupid. Don't make me do it! Look at me! Do you hear me? I will kill you if I have to do this! No! I shooted Rebecca. Left Sarah at the trailer park? Nah. Rob Darbo? Nah. I'll crawl through. It's 50 50. Of course, you want to hold the baby. Of course, I shot Rebecca. Protect baby. But that is where I am going to call it. I hope you all enjoyed. And I will see you all next time. Bye, y'all. Oh, uh, I think Kenny would turn and just shoot her without hesitation. And it would, just, it would still cause the gunfight. But, yeah. Later.